Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Transformation Time. Every Thursday I host an episode of either Transformation Time or Re Behind the Scenes. My name is Diana Lizrazo and today's guest speaker is Manny Heyderi. Now before we get started, I want to share some exciting news with you. If you're looking to get if you're looking for an application a platform that helps you with building credibility becoming searchable because uh, showing your how professional you are then you want to check out refam refam is an application that helps you with all these things so get into my bio if you want to check out more if you want to hear more about it it's an up-and-coming platform that you're going to want to be a part of now back to the show on transformation time our guest speakers are real estate investors and entrepreneurs here to help you by sharing their personal development journeys the changes they've gone through to get to where they are now and we also get to deep dive into the changes they're making right now to get to those future goals that they're trying to achieve so if you guys are ready Let's give Manny a thumbs up, let's send him some hearts, and let's get him on. Let's welcome him on the stage. Let's see if you can get it. I'm accepting it, but usually it takes 20 times. Uh, oh, you're coming on, I think. I don't see you though. Hello, 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 can you see me? I can't. Is it frozen? Ooh. Hey, I see only myself. I'm looking at myself. <laughs> Can you see me you now? Camera on? Yeah. I've never had this happen before. That's interesting. There you go. Can you see I me have, now? Can you see me? No. Because I'm only doing a video of myself right now. <laughs> I'm here. I can see myself. You can't see me, right? No, I can't see you. Um, that is interesting maybe ask the uh, crowd jay uh, can you see us jay i know my brother there jay in the in the audience he's jay deep jay deep patel yeah. and it takes a few minutes yes. to usually yes. you can see both of us he said yes okay so this is weird because i can't see you but i guess we we can go on <laughs> Sure, sure. Okay. Hi, Diana. Okay. How are you? Good. Good. How have you been? Great, great, great. Very busy with real estate, with renovations, with events. Lots of stuff happening. So let's start with telling the viewers a little bit about yourself. Who are you? What do you do? What's your real estate strategy? How are you an entrepreneur? What kind of entrepreneur are you? Whatever you'd love to share. So yeah, sure. Um, I'm a realtor in Ham Hamilton, an investor in Hamilton. I've been a realtor here for about, I would say, going on 13 years. I started in the business uh, 13 years ago because um, I was actually in the in the market for looking for a property. I reached out to an agent, and the agent was very disappointing. And um, I was in the sales business already. I had a car dealership and auto mechanic shop and and I, I i decided that i wanted to try you know real estate and since then i haven't looked back i love the business it's something that is very rewarding when you're helping people um buy and sell properties flip properties and uh you know a couple of years into the business i realized what my niche was which was investment real estate mm -hmm. which helping investors mm -hmm. buy renovate sell buy renovate keep um you know th those are the things that i'm really interested in taking older homes and bringing it back to the glory days um those are the kind of strategies that i've learned through my you know experiences with my clients um experiences uh doing it uh, myself and you know i thoroughly enjoy it and that's what we're doing right now in hamilton i have a a uh, real estate team. We work for a big brokerage. My team is Marquee Realty Advisors. We work for Royal LePage State. It's a big company in Hamilton. Um, and, and yeah, we we pretty much uh, 
what we kind of doing is, is a one-stop shop we got construction team um uh, that i also have um that i that i own a uh, construction company and uh we're a one-stop shop we, we, we you know help clients buy properties out here renovate them sell them renovate refinance um make more units out of single family make a single family a duplex a triplex um i actually have exciting news i've i'm bringing on some agents um that do you're buildings. growing 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 we have to That's grow and i'm actually part of a because a lot of people there's been a few people that i've been hearing about that are have been growing or in a growth spurt which is great to hear because you don't really hear that in these kind of downturns where people will say that you know that they're stale or or losing and so it's great to hear that you're growing and it kind of helps give people the hope that Yes, maybe some people are not able to grow or succeed in the down times, but if you're able to persevere and push through, like you, you're you're you know you need to add people on. So that's great to hear. Yeah, you know what? I think that there's an opportunity in every market, and there's a huge opportunity right now. I I call it a a window of opportunity mm -hmm. where. A lot of investors can buy properties at good prices for them, and a lot of agents could align uh, with people that are doing the same thing that they're doing in the same niche. Um, that's why I'm finding agents uh, that are within my niche and within that the same investment real estate background and adding them on. It's it's really it's hard to find. Not a, a lot of agents are investor focused, mm -hmm. and um, when you do find one that does know what they're doing and does have um, rental properties and has done flips and has done burrs, um, th that's tremendous assets to to have to mm -hmm. service a client, right? So, so yeah, no, in every, in every market, there's an opportunity. I think there's an opportunity in this market. Anybody that's stale is not working I, in my eyes right now. There's an opportunity yeah, right or now. Not looking, right? Yeah. You're not keeping your eyes open, which is usually what it is, like the whole mindset thing, right? It's usually if you're not looking for deals because you think the economy is bad or things are going on in your life, whatever, like how are you, how are you supposed to see opportunities if because you are looking for them? So I, I love sure. that. I think that's great that you say that. And so let's start from the beginning. So you said that um, you, you bought a property. And so it was that specific experience that made you want to become an, uh, a real, realtor? Realtor. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. you know, and? with your experiences in life, you realize what, what, you know, what you're meant to do. Like, I was in sales all my life, but I didn't really, I didn't feel that they were the right fit i always liked sales but i didn't know what kind of business i wanted to be in but real estate is not really much to, it's there's a little bit of sales but it's more customer service and relationships which which i really enjoy um mm -hmm. ever, ever since i was a young kid i've always had uh lots of friends that i was always you know i had a friend in every in every industry in every a connection in every industry and I use those connections to to help people. Like uh, if I had a connection somewhere, I like you know, at a car shop, and my friend called me and I said, "Go to that guy to say Manny sent you. He'll take care of you." So I'm kind of doing the same situation in real estate, where we're kind of connecting with everybody and helping people that are not connected as us um, get connected. And and I've joined up with Mark and Arrow and Henry, and we've created an a network which is called the Grow Network, mm -hmm. which is helping investors connect with one another, helping people with their events, um, throwing funny promo videos, me, you know, keeping it light, you know, but at the same time, helping people connect. Mm -hmm. I've probably helped a lot, a lot of people connect that have done business with one another. And that's really rewarding, Diana. You know, you know that as an investor, um, the connection. Mm -hmm is always the most important thing 100%. and your network is almost the most important thing in this business right yeah 100 percent. 
And so you would say that, so your skill, so you feel like any other skills, like you feel like, so you love talking to people. It sounds like you love helping them out. Any other skills that you would say that you had that really helped you to become like an, an amazing realtor? Well, I was always good at persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> so you're I was always that. good at, I was always, <laughs> I was always good with that aspect of things and I was always a people person mm -hmm. and um, down to earth, being down to earth and not being snobby and not thinking, you know, you're better than someone. It goes a long way um, because everybody starts out somewhere, right? Um, mm -hmm. I remember starting out humble beginnings, not having much. And I always looked at people that were far ahead of me and see, seeing the way that they treated people. The most important mm -hmm. way, the most important thing to me is the way people treat one another. Um, you Sense. know, and if you, if you treat people with respect and you're honest and, you know, you do things ethically, it goes a long way. Um, you mm -hmm. know, and, and yeah, you people will always. That trust. Yeah, and that trust. And 90% of my business over the years has been based on relationships and trust and uh, being honest and the integrity and I've never had my face on a billboard. I've never, you know, I've never really advertised like that. Like that wasn't my method. My method was relationships, building good mm -hmm. relationships and knowing that they can call me and I could, if I could take care of a situation for them locally or anywhere around uh, our, our vicinity of uh, Hamilton, this, you know, this area, I would like, th that's just me. So them having the trust, being able to open up and, you know, tell me what they need, tell me what they want and being able to help people. That's, that's the most rewarding thing, Diana, helping people mm -hmm. because it goes a long way because they remember, people remember when you help them, you know, and, you know, when you need help, they'll be there for you. So 100%. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's the most rewarding thing. And at the end of the day, uh, you know, if you have lots of good relationships, you will always be well paid because relationships mm -hmm. are the key to success. And going back to what you were saying about opportunity, you got to know an opportunity when it knocks. Mm -hmm. Like some, the problem mm -hmm. is people nowadays, um, they can't, they don't know it's an opportunity. When it's there, they 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 can't see it. So they, that's a great goes, thing. Actually, curious. How did you know um, when the opportunity presented itself? What what made you actually decide? Because you, I'm assuming that you were in automotive, you were in sales too, and then you went to realtor. Like or or was it, but like what was that? Like you said, wh what gave you the signs? to make you realize that you should be heading in the direction of a realtor? Well, I had a bad realtor. Their customer service was horrible. All they, was doing, all, all they were doing was sending me emails and text messages. And I'm a people person. I want to meet you. I want to have a coffee with you. I want to get to know you. I want you to tell me what you do, mm -hmm. you know, how you can service me. And mm -hmm. get to know me and get to know how you can service my needs. So that I felt that was lacking in the first realtor I was working with uh, at the time I wasn't, which I wasn't a realtor. And I said, you know what? I'm going to bring something different to the, the business, the dynamic of being there for someone and getting to know someone. The best way to service someone is to get to know them, get mm -hmm. to know what they want, get to know their, what gets them going, get to know their interest. And then from there, servicing them, it becomes very easy because you got to know them. Right. And you mm -hmm. got to know what they're looking for, what their wants and needs are and why they want those wants and needs. And and I'm more of a let's go for coffee or go for dinner and get to know each other and see if it's the right fit. And mm -hmm. I think that was lacking. And that's why I decided to come into the business. And I love it. For me, this is not work. For me, this is this is fun. Mm -hmm. This is really mm -hmm. Which is also like another people. great point, actually, that you're bringing out is that when you do things that you love to do, it's not really a job in the sense of how people say where it's like, I don't know, people see the word job as like such a negative thing. 
but when you're actually doing the things you enjoy and you and which requires you what you're saying to get to know yourself well enough to be able to find those kind of jobs that you know you'll you will enjoy joy and obviously every single job there's always going to be the things that you don't like but the things that you do like definitely outweigh the th- the little things that you don't like yeah well when you're working for yourself it's not really a job it's more of a it's more of a career that you're working on but when you're working for someone else it's different you know you're if it's a 9 to 5 um, job it's a little bit, bit different but when you're working for yourself as you know uh, as entrepreneurs you never you don't have the opportunity to turn it off <laughs> so mm-hmm. you could be working 12 hours a day 15 hours a day but you are working on your dreams which is what you sign up to do but it's if you enjoy what you do it's not a job if you if you 100%. enjoy if you enjoy every day of it if you enjoy the lunches the dinners the the highs the lows there's going to be lows but you know, there's going to be days that you just don't feel like doing anything, but it's how you per- persevere and what your mindset is that gets you through mm-hmm. it. And you have mm-hmm. Jacqueline on, which is a great um, guest to have on about mindset. Um, mm-hmm. I think that's ex- extremely important in any business. Um, your mindset, um, how you deal with issues, how you mm-hmm. deal with hurdles, how you how you navigate through the tough times. Um, if you're positive or if you're negative, these things are extremely important. And and mindset is very important. If you're a positive person, you always see the glass is half full. Even mm-hmm. whatever, whatever happens, you'll always be like, it's okay, we'll figure it out. Yeah. But if you're a negative person- You'll definitely get some kind of knowledge out of it. Like you'll get, okay, the learning experience from it. You'll find, you always get something out of it that you need. So that's amazing. Yeah. Just want to also give a shout out to, it says Ro has Empire. He's saying, he's saying hi, Manny. So that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, Henry's, part, Henry's part of the Grow Network. He's our head designer, BCIN. If anybody's looking for a designer, we got you covered. The, this gentleman is so good at what he does. Um, he's got the top-notch technology for um, designing. I, I've never seen, he's got a scanner, Diana, that could scan a house and do the drawings for you. It's, it's top-notch, so. Um, yeah. And so now getting back to you, I know you love to always like prop up everyone, <laughs> which is amazing, <laughs> but this is about you. <laughs> <laughs> and I did want to say so with what you as with all the time that you've been a realtor and even probably from previous jobs and uh, or even being an entrepreneur, uh, sorry, being an investor, what would you say are the biggest changes you've had to make in yourself? What were those growth changes that were so impactful for you that got you to where you are today? So the number one thing I had to do is cut off everybody I knew. <laughs> um, Why? Why? Well, well, I used used to be when I was younger. I used to. I'm still very sociable, but I used to always go out and always, you know, go to events and parties and you know. And I feel like that's a good thing when you're younger. That's okay for experiences and stuff like that. But you get to a point after, like after I finished school. I got to the point that I was like, okay, I got to really f- focus here and figure out what I want to do in life. And I can't go out as much. You know what I mean? I can't. Um, thank you so much, Karen. I, I, I can't say go out. A little shout out to Karen. Man, yeah. you were the real deal. That's awesome to yeah. hear. And then, and then Mark's also saying, it's- let's grow. So that's awesome. <laughs> Just give a shout out. <laughs> yeah, those guys are great. So I had to cut out a lot of people, Diana. Um, mm-hmm. I, I couldn't go out as much. I, I try to isolate myself and put myself on like a three to five year plan of like getting ahead. Okay, this is my plan. And one thing I want to stop you there actually, because I find it really funny that you're saying this. And I think it's more that you've probably, because you love to go out and I mean, you're always at all the events. But I think what really has happened is that 
you're still doing the things that you enjoy, but you changed the people that you're going to go do that with. Because for example, like I see at all the real estate events, even the ones that I don't go to. <laughs> so you are doing the things, but that's what I think that's a really great point to make, right? It's like, if you do love going out, for example, like you or you like to be around people, right? It's like, you're basically saying I had to change, you know, the group of people, because maybe it's more the, the, the type of going out that was happening, right? It was like, or with the people, right? Is that going to advance you? And you realize, like, for me to advance in my life, I probably have to change the people I'm hanging out with. So it's like yeah, you're getting more serious on the business side. And because you still go out a lot. When, yeah. <laughs> I, I, you're out all yeah, the time. No, I, and you, to your point, like, I had to change the crowd. Um, the crowd that I grew up with, I loved them to death, but I just couldn't do what we were doing uh, mm -hmm. when we were, you know, in our early 20s anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, I got married. I have, you know, I wanted to get ahead in life and I had to come up with a three to five year plan. And it, it, it was hard. It's hard, Diana. It's hard transitioning into any change. Like 100%. it's hard transitioning from being even something so small, like wearing baggy clothes to wearing fitted clothes. You mm -hmm. know, it, Something like that, like even mm -hmm. a small change like that makes a big change on the psyche of a person. Um, and like I had to change the crowd. And, and I, I talk about it extensively on my show, The Real Side of Real Estate, where, um, where I say, you know, your network is your net worth, right? And what I always say to people is, you know, sometimes you got to take yourself away if you're not progressing in life, you got to take yourself away and figure out what you want to do. Figure out where you want to go. And if you're not around the right people that are going to take you there, then maybe you have to reevaluate. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I love it. You're making a lot of great points that I just want to reiterate because like that, like you basically realize that if you want to be this person that you see yourself in the future, you were transforming yourself. So you were transforming yourself, even like you said, clothes wise, you transform yourself. Yeah. Mind wise, yeah. you transformed yourself. And change is a hard thing because it's also you're saying like it's hard, but you had your purpose and you knew why you were doing these things, which is this, I love that you're saying that because this is what it is like your image of yourself, you know, you saw who that person was, right? And you're just like, is this the person I want to see probably 10 years down the road? And you're like, no, I like, or is this lifestyle going to give me what I want 10 years down the road? And you saw that pivot that you're like, this is not going to give me what I want. And I need to, change to the person who i need to be that i see myself in the future so i love that you've said that i just wanted it's, to reiterate because i feel like that's so important it's so important and you know what it's not easy um change is not easy change only happens when you when you sit down and you figure out that okay the most important thing for change to happen is discipline and mm -hmm. being able to become disciplined like having discipline is probably one of the most difficult things in life. Um, and to be consistent with the discipline um, and not go back to the old ways or the back to the old crowd when you're getting lured in, um, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. like it's, and it's lonely and it's, there's hard nights and there's, you're just going to have to make a decision in your life. You know what I mean? And, 100%. Uh, and I think that's what it was, right? Your purpose was so much bigger or your desire, that person who you saw yourself that you wanted to be was so much stronger that it helped you with these massive changes because those changes you're talking about are huge. Like, because changing your clothes is huge because it's you're basically telling yourself you're changing who, like, who you, who you were, right? It's like, this is who Manny is. And you're basically like, now Manny's transforming to a completely different person. Um, so that is like, that's well, amazing I mean, that you, you could got, actually make gotta, that kind gotta, of change. You got, you got to credit your support staff to Diana. I'm blessed that I, I have a great family. I'm blessed that my my mother and my sisters are are amazing support 
support staff. Like, they're amazing support. They're amazing support system. And we were blessed. Like, I remember when they were bringing me tight clothes, and I'm like, who's wearing that? Like, my sister <laughs> is, right? And I'm like, I'm not wearing that, you know? <laughs> and they're like, it's time to, like, they're kind of saying it's time to, like, evolve, right? Yeah. And they're younger than me. And I was like, and, and it took it made me think and like, okay, like maybe, you know, it is time to evolve and like, and change and, and, and you, you start feeling, okay, well, I have the support. If you have the support, Diana, you can do accomplish anything in life. Mm -hmm. If, if you have your family support, if you have your friends support, if you have your spouse's support, you can climb mountains, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I, I, I always got to say, I always will say, if it wasn't for the support of my beautiful family, my beautiful wife, I wouldn't be who I am. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I would still be that guy that loves to party and be, you know, doing it for the wrong, wrong reasons, just having fun and not thinking about my life and future goals. And, you know, but mm -hmm. like, that's the port staff. When you're going through the changes and the discipline that you need, they're going to be there. They're going to be there to be like, you can do it. Don't worry. We got your back. And yeah. that, that is a tremendous help because when you're lonely, the only people that are there for you is your family and your real friends. And, and, um, and, and your family, and you're always going to And also connect. alluding to, which is exactly, I mean, what you're creating, your grown network. Like being around like-minded people is so important and, because yeah. Like you're saying, you know, it's like some of us have to completely let go of all the people that we just know that won't provide that support, try to drag you into those parties, try to guilt trip you, whatever it is. But having those, like you said, those other people that understand you're going through change, the family, whoever that can support you. And just keeping those people around you or getting into the communities too. I think both are very important to help you succeed. And then, and then fine, you know, like once you have that confidence of you know who you are, you built who you are. And if you do want to go to those friends or whoever afterwards, or maybe people like that, maybe some family members, you know, you can't get rid of them, but maybe you can distance yourself from for a while and then maybe you can go back when you're a stronger person. Uh, but it's, it is also important to be able to, uh, and like you said, that's how that you basically attribute that as to why you are where you are and how the amazing things you've been able to do because your support system, like you said, is so important. The support system is everything, um, in my opinion. Like, for example, right now, uh, I, I, you know, I met amazing people at these networking events. Like, my first networking event was last summer, and I just went there not knowing what to expect and i met, met amazing people mm -hmm. and now one of the amazing people that i met mark mark yotako mr taco we call him now we have joined forces to you know create such a beautiful thing called the grow network and mm -hmm. i would have never been able to meet people like mark if i never took that leap of faith and tried the networking events and i'm I was never at these events before. I was I was the kind of guy that was like, I don't know if these events are going to even benefit me. Like, you know, I was just like, I'm a realtor. Like, there's a million realtors in there. But you don't know what you don't know until you actually try it, right? Um, and, and like you said, right, it's like you're also bringing your unique skills to the table. And until you test out those waters and test out, like, does who I am work for this environment? Can you really say it's going to work? Like, always test it out, right? Always test it out before you say 100%, no. 100%. I, I, have a, I have a way of thinking. My way of thinking is I'm going to throw a million things at the wall, and I know probably 999 won't stick. But the five, five to ten that do stick, they will work. Mm -hmm. So, and if you don't like m one of the famous hockey players said, you'll never score if you don't take the shot. So, 100%. I'm all about that, and I'm all about motivating and hustling and working hard and getting somewhere and leading by example. And that's why I think that, you know, 
I'm very ambitious with with what what my goals are with my team, but I think that that our city is for the taking, and I want the city, and mm -hmm. you know, I want the city with my team, and I think that the value added proposition of working with people like myself, people like Mark, people like Henry, people like Aro, these great great people are it's phenomenal. Like people like yourself collaborating with you. Every time I see you at an event, I'm like, Diana, how are you? Long time no see. <laughs> like, you know, like, mm -hmm. I would have mm. never got that opportunity if I never went to these networking events and to meet yourself and other investors like you and the great platform that you've created for your people. Like, you know, I, I've always been a backer of that. I always thought that was a great thing. And you know what? Connecting like-minded individuals, which you're doing, which is massive, mm -hmm. like, like mm -hmm. you're doing a huge service for for the industry, you know. Like, and you know, once we have you on our show uh, on the real side of real estate, we're gonna we're gonna be discussing that. Like, it, it's a great uh, system that you have that connects people, and that's the biggest thing, right? Like, connecting people, and that's hard to do, mm -hmm. and you're doing that. Mm with your system which is is great like not everybody can go out to these networking events because of work and all the other things but you have an online platform where you're actually helping them connect online which is great like um I, you know i'm fully supportive of that I, I think that's awesome yeah thank you so much i really appreciate the kind words i love again always into the sales <laughs> it's I'm like ingrained selling. in you i'm not i'm not selling <laughs> I'm giving or, the vape. I mean, you know what I mean? Always promoting. Sorry, I'm I meant to say. Always promoting. Always promoting. That is always uh, supporting. All, 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 all I, right? I want to do is <laughs> un make, understand, pe make people understand the value. So mm. I'm all about the, I call it the vape, the VAP, the value added proposition. And mm -hmm. when, when I work with people or when I talk to people, I ask them, what is your value added proposition to my life? And what is my value added proposition to your life? And what you're doing right now, and you know, not saying this because we're friends, I'm saying it's it's a value because who else is doing that? No one's mm -hmm. really doing that. And I think you're a pioneer in doing that, which is great. Like I, I'm fully supportive of it. Awesome. And I think that Thank you so much. <laughs> and I just wanted to say actually something that you're doing is also that you know, it's so amazing that you're able to like build all these relationships, understand, you know, the importance of it and wanting to support people because that's, that's what, uh, that's like the essence of people. I feel like is we're always here to help each other out. And it's, and you can see that it's like your mission it's, is to help and support mission. people, which is amazing to do. Now it that is, is. we've gotten to hear of who you are uh, and like how you've gotten here, what are your, what are you, what is your big, big goal? I, th I think you've told us, but I'm curious, by the way, I think you kind of alluded to your big, big goal and what changes are you making right now in yourself and your business? Again, I feel like you've told us in just what are you, what changes are you making to get to that big, big so, goal? So my goal is when people think, think about Hamilton real estate, I want them to think of my name and I want them to think about, about my team and the value that we can add to their experience. Mm -hmm. That is the goal that, that I have in mind. And my steps of getting there, it's already started. Uh, I, I'm starting to add these amazing people on my team that, that, that do different things that I'm not 100% familiar with but they do and they can add that value to our team um and just have a strong team that could support all kinds of investors like yourself from out of town we have a lot of clientele from out of town that look for you know investor friendly realtors in town and i want to be able to pro provide that service to all of them with without burning the candle from both sides and having time for family so i would like to build my team big enough to service as many people as possible. And we've already have the wheels in motion. We already have some realtors that are I'm super excited about that are going to be joining us. Um, mm -hmm. I've already 
you know, we already have the construction team that's getting bigger. Like we, we're going a million miles per hour. And my goal is like, I want to be able to spend more time with my family. So I, I really, my thing is not the money, Diana. My thing is time. Mm -hmm. I want to free up time. Um, and time that. is of the essence because time to me is more valuable than the money. Mm -hmm. um, because you won't get time back. Yeah, 100% agree with you. And so who who do you have to be to make your goal happen? Well, I got to be me. I, I, I got to be me. I got I got to be me and I what I have to do is what my mission was from day 1 with getting involved with the investors and, and the networking is is promote people's uh promote people's events, promote people's ideas, the ones that I stand by, you know, the the events that I stand by, like uh, the Wink Ladies, for example, mm -hmm. I love what they're doing. Their um, events is promote them. tonight, if anyone's yeah. interested. <laughs> yeah, they, they have a, they have a, I think it's sold out, actually. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we, is it? Okay. <laughs> yeah, like it's, it, so no, you I know what, I've been very, <laughs> no, they can come. I've, I've been very fortunate to, be part of it and they've they've allowed me to be part of it and the other thing is we've been very fortunate to sell them out every time we've been part of it which is which is amazing it's uh it's it's amazing to be able to do that and it's amazing to have all these powerful women in the same room talking and all these powerful people like danielle chason she's a keynote speaker jacqueline francis you know very very well you've had her on um she's speaking about mindset um something that people need at this point in life like <laughs> like it's been a hard year diana last year was a hard year it was um, a hard year and like you said i feel like this year it's like might as well start off the year and let's make things happen let's let's like let the past go and let's start i feel like a lot of people are actually doing transformations right now um, and I just want to reiterate for yours, because it sounds like, so your transformations is really just expanding yourself. So it's like, you're going bigger in everything that you excel at. So it's like, you're amazing at speaking with people. So you're excelling at speaking to many, many more people. You know, it's like you excel at supporting people and promoting people. You're just growing that at a bigger level, it sounds like, right? Is that, so you're just becoming that bigger yeah. version of who you are, I, it sounds like. Is that right? I love I love the philosophy that, that Danielle has to do, Danielle Chason, where it's like, when you help people it's like you're leaving a lasting impression and they'll always forever be grateful for it you know and mm -hmm. and, and in turn they will help you they'll put in a good word for you and you'll have a good um you know you'll have a good connection and a good uh yeah people will understand that you're there for people like so at the end of the day you know if you're servicing and helping people they will always service and help you. And they'll always, uh, you know, tell people about your you, your business and the stuff that you do. I don't really go at these events and mention that I'm a realtor or an investor. I just go there to have fun and enjoy myself and see if I could be of service. Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. I think that's the way everybody should be looking at life. Everything is relationship. It is. Everything is relationships. And it's either you're having a good relationship or a bad there. relationship. Sorry. Sorry. The last part again. I said everything in life is a relationship, you know, mm -hmm. and either you have a good relationship or a bad relationship. If you have a good relationship, that means that you could call me and confide in me and trust in me. And you could mm -hmm. call me and tell me something and I can give you my, my advice, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and that right there is priceless having those kind of relationships to be able to call people and they can help you and give, guide you people that are doing it on a higher scale than you mm -hmm. like i i talk to people that are doing it on a way higher scale than me mm -hmm. and for them to take my call and for them to advise me is, is great because that makes me feel like okay well they they value me you know and mm -hmm. and that's 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 something that everybody would love you know to be valued right so the only way you can be valued is if you're you know you have a good relationship with people and you're good with people and you don't 
backbite people and don't talk bad and don't, you know what I mean? Like, like mm-hmm. we all at the end of the day have our pros and cons and our good things and our bad things and whatever. But sometimes just being um, understanding of people's situation, like sometimes people have a bad day and you can't judge them because of their bad day, right? They had one bad day, right? Um, mm-hmm. like, or even they may have a bad month. You just never know what's going on, right? <laughs> But hundred percent, I completely agree. Any final notes that you like to share? Any like tips you like to share, or anything? You have, uh, events. We already said one of them tonight. But anything else that you want to share before we end this call, this live? Well, yeah, I just wanted to say to any of your viewers, uh, anybody out there, just don't give up on your dreams. Do you know? Just figure out. What what's actually draining your energy? It's what what's actually helping you progress and what's actually helping you regress. And cut out whatever's helping you regress and not progress in life. And it's not going to be easy. It's you know it's going to be hard. Change is always hard. But at the end of the day, if, if you set up a goal and you set up a time frame and a plan, um, and you have a little bit of discipline, mm-hmm. I think you could. Re- I, I, if anybody knew me growing up, they'd be like, oh my God, you know, like I've done a 360 and I think if I can do it, I think anybody can do it. I just, I, you know, and I, that's, that's my mentality, but you know, thank you so much, Diana, for having me on. It was fun. And, um, I look forward to you coming on to our show, the real side of real estate. Um, Definitely come on. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming on. If you guys love what you heard from Manny, he will be tagged on here so you can follow him. You can see what he's up to. You can definitely check out all his funny videos. <laughs> and if you guys love the shows that I have and you want to see what I am up to, then definitely follow me too. Manny, thank you so much for coming on. It was so much thank fun you. to chat with you. Thank you so much, John. And have a nice day. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye, Manny. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.